hello my lovely people welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video we are still on the gist from the palace of uni of ife allegedly my people hmm, they say ashley is in hot soup as it is now because of what she called queen naomi hmm, ashley and the king eh, hmm, this time around it be like say they are love before that time where they, they uh, make us believe that they are in love. Be like saying or something now hold that love because as it is now, that thing no can hold the love again. Yes, that is one thing about using something to make someone to be with you or love you. When a uh, when you are with a person who doesn't love you genuinely, you know who is coming for you because of one reason or the other. That is not pure love. It will get to a point where you will look for that person you will not see. Or even if he or she is there, uh, that happiness and love will not be there again. That is exactly what is happening. Recall that they initially, before now, it was anytime Ashley and, uh, uh, come to Nigeria, the king will take her around. They will make the people believe that they are the best as in Romeo and Juliet of our time. No be smarting. Hmm. But what waiting can happen? Waiting happen if that love is what it uh, uh, they made us believe then, and that is why a lot of people are saying that after the seclusion, that all the kaya matter, everything where they don't pack put for this man head, all of them don't expire, all of them know they work again, uh, you know. So, uh, as the king, don't they, don't they show them papers more small? They say the king, no, they even give them, no, they even look their face again. They think when they vest them, they don't they blame uh, uh, Queen Naomi as if uh, now she tell them, say, may, go, may they go use Kayamata, hold, their, hold her husband. So they say the king don't ban Ashley from entering her palace. And uh, no, not her palace, her chamber. Mm -hmm. Because when I know, say, if the king says she's not going to enter the palace, all those elders, so then they walk with Ashley, them. They feel they find opportunity, you know, against the king. So, but the best thing will be say the king don't ban her. Make sure you know, they enter her uh, chambers again. And I know, say, that one hot. He go hot them. Because she too, no go enter another man's uh, chamber. Mm -hmm. Because this thing will be said that the king, they do them. Na serious matter, oh. So if the king can't deny them bola, they no go uh, go get bola anyway because the traditional stuff where we said the king don't do them, <laughs> don't do to them. Now another case on its own. So my people are waiting cause all these things be say, uh, Ashley, gold post for their group say, uh, which kind pastor. Uh, where uh, when Naomi be say uh, 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 when Naomi a fake pastor, she said that when Naomi is a fake pastor, that if not, she shouldn't be sleeping with uh, another man's husband, another woman's husband. So this time around, Oni is Ashley's husband, and is not a uh, uh, Naomi's husband. Wahala well, know they finish. Wahala know they finish. So according to what we are hearing, you know, they said when the king got to know about this. A, a post from Ashley, he was so mad. One is that uh, calling Quenomi fake pastor, then claiming that uh, Ashley is sleeping with another man's another woman, uh, that Naomi is sleeping with another man's uh, husband is an allegation, a serious one at that. Too. So, but in another Quenomi, she go just keep quiet and behave as if she know even hear or see anything of that nature. So they said the king have made it clear to her that she is never going to enter his chamber again until she apologized to Queen Naomi. But something happened. Queen Naomi, knowing fully well who Ashley is, knowing that Ashley does not love her, Ashley does not mean well for her, because they two, they have been together before while they, are, they were in the palace. So Queen Naomi have grown to know that Ashley is not a good person. So Ash, they said, uh, when Naomi sent a message to Ashley, telling her that if anything should make you come close to me, only in the name of coming to for forgiveness, that what she will do to you, as in how it will end, you 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 might not even live to tell the, the story. Be 
because they see Quinomi as very calm and gentle, who will not take action and all of that. And that is why you see them, the next thing you hear that they went to Akure to beg Quinomi. Or is it to beg Quinomi or to go and do one or two, which is not even working for them. So they say Ashley have made it clear that they should warn, uh, not Ashley, Quinomi have made it clear that they should go and warn Ashley. That any those dramas they are acting in that palace, they better remain in the palace and they act the drama. That if she should try and come closer to her or to her church or to anywhere around her, all in the name of coming to beg, that how it will end, that she will not like it. That she is just sending her this warning so that uh, she will not say she did not want her. That that Naomi that she used to know. Is no more the same Naomi. That she better take her time. She better watch her back this time. That if she try any nonsense that come close to her, only the name of begging or whatever, that she shouldn't blame her for anything that will happen because something must happen. <laughs> These people, eh, they want to bring out the peace in Naomi. In Naomi, because let me tell you, every man, every woman have the other side of her. Hmm. And from the look of things, these women are about to bring out the other side of Queen Naomi. And if Queen Naomi should return back to the palace with uh, the other side of her, <laughs> they no go like her more. They no go like her. They no go like her. Of course, we do know that all their effort is to make sure that Queen Naomi never comes back to that palace because they see her as their biggest threat. Of course, they have to be her biggest. She have to be their biggest threat because they think say Kayamata uh, go do everything. If you do her more, but you no go last. You know, go and only pure and true love now go last, and now make the king they go after Quenomi because they said he went to Quenomi's uh, house in Lake. They spent time together, eat together, drink together, gist together because now say all these Oloris uh, they have people who are monitoring them, and I'm sure their uh, their spy must have explained to them how these two enjoy themselves, how they gist, how they laugh, you know. It's good though, so that the king will go and laugh out some of the stress from all these women, you know. So they said the two spent their time very well. And maybe when the, those people that uh, they sent to monitor them, uh, send message across to them, telling them how joyful, how they were rejoicing and uh, enjoying the moment, they got annoyed and they write that nonsense post that uh, when Naomi is a fake pastor who is sleeping with another woman's husband imagine that only na when Naomi husband do unless the day where we say uh only go say when Naomi is okay let's go to court and no marry you again but as it is now the though and the person where they sleep with another man's husband here is ashley ashley is sleeping with naomi's husband you know so if there's anyone that message should go to it should be ashley so my people know now so we hear them okay don't forget that they are all alleged information Always bear that in mind. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you are here to subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Bye for now. Love you guys.